What's going on YouTube? It's TK here and today I have a Ghost of Tsushima tips and tricks video for you. Uh, more precisely, two tips and tricks for you guys uh, in order to better help their infiltrate uh, a group of Mongols or a group of enemies at any time. First, it's going to be the blow dart, which you can get at the at Act 2 when you complete all the your side quests with Yuri. And with the blow dart, one thing you want to use with it is the hallucination dart. Now, the hallucination dart, what it does is it makes the enemy go crazy and basically attack its fellow um, its fellow soldiers. And then the fellow soldiers obviously attack him too. In any group of enemies, when you hit one of them, you know, this the guy starts going crazy and then starts attacking each other. So what this can do at the very least is injure a lot of the people that it draws around him. Every once in a while, he'll kill everybody too, which is also great. But the main thing is you want to injure everybody so that when you go in to kill them, it's only a one-hit kill and whatnot. And um, what's great about this is that, you know, you, you, you can really, you know, limit the amount of people you have to engage in any situation. The next skill that I want you to you guys use is also the wind chime. Now, the wind chime is very interesting because by itself, all it does is lure people to the wind or to the object. But if you combine it with this charm of toxic demise, which you will get it when you, once you reach your ghost level of three, when you reach level three, you get this charm automatically. And with this charm, you be, and you combine it with the hallucination dart, you basically get to wreak a lot of havoc. So what I generally like to do is when I find a group of people, I will first um, throw in the charm or throw in the wind chime into a group of guys. Uh, maybe in that way, when that person goes to examine the object, they'll die, they'll make a dramatic effect and they'll pull a lot of soldiers around this one user. Once that happens, I, I take out my hallucination darts and I, blow a few into the enemy either one or two maybe the strongest guys maybe some brutes and when that happens it, these guys basically start wreaking a havoc against one another and everybody else around them and what usually ends up happening is a lot of them either get killed or at the very least again get injured so once they get injured you know you can just start picking them off one by one with some arrows or whatever and this is super effective for you guys out there who are having a little trouble clearing out those bigger camps or strongholds. Having these two items in your arsenal is going to help you a lot, especially the more you upgrade them. And you can also keep combining them uh, with other uh, charms as well that can you know make the effects last longer and have a little bit more potency. So things like that can help you along. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys know this trick already. Let me know how it works for you guys. Um, if you like this type of video, please give this video a like so the algorithm you know, helps me out there. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button for more videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.